And good morning, everybody. Oh, my nose. <laughs> I'm having my breakfast. <laughs> this does the breakfast very well as well. Well, I think I needed more, oh, more water. There's a lot of insects around. We've got, there's a lot of spiders and insects. If you noticed Lassie on a lead outside, that's simply because uh, she wouldn't leave Chris alone. And then we were in a wooded area full of sticks and she kept dropping sticks on his stove and his dinner and his food and everything. So I had to put her on a lead so she, she wouldn't keep dropping sticks on him. The well, time's about quarter to nine. I slept quite well. I put my head down about 11. And I woke up about three and needed the loo. So I had to go outside for that job. And then <clears throat> I think I made a cup of tea. And then I made another cup of tea. <laughs> and I think I put my head down again about four. And I think I slept through until about half past seven, quarter to eight, something like that. And then I started to sort of come to, so I had the kettle on by eight. And the first cup of tea made just after eight. So that's not too bad for me. Okay, well, we're making some progress. We've got the kettle on for pro probably one more cup of tea. Um, I've put my rubbish in Lass's bag. So that's packed up. I've got most of my stuff in the rucksack. I haven't put the sleeping, obviously I'm still in the sleeping bag and on the mat, but I'll see how, how far on Chris is, but I must admit for me, I'm not, I'm not a million miles away from, from being ready. Give or take a bit, give or take Give or take an hour. <laughs> we'll catch up a bit later on. There's not really much else to say at the moment, really. We're just <laughs> lying here and not doing very much. Oh, it's very, really, very exciting. <laughs> very exciting for everybody. <laughs> oh, but it's, you can hear the birds. There's some birds tweeting outside. And the second I put the camera to the door, there. So we ran out of this gas. So I've put another, I brought a small canister with me because we've got enough, we've got a minute before we need to get going. And when it's, when the canister is brand new, you do have to let it run. Okay. I, I think with this, you've kind of got, because I, I was trying to light it. Yeah, now it's coming through. I think when the canister is like absolutely brand new, it's like it won't, um, it's like it won't operate properly and you've got to let, you just seem to have to let some gas off, <laughs> if you pardon the expression, um, for it to light. And now it will probably be, you know, it's coming up to bulk. So the, the old canister had already warmed it up quite a bit. But it does seem that if you have a brand new canister, it didn't flare up this time, so that was that was good with a new canister. 
but like I said, it just seems that you have to, it, it, it won't light with a brand new canister until a little bit of gas comes off and then it slowly starts to think about lighting. Um, and then it lights. And now I don't doubt for one second that it will be like normal now. It's like, it's like just a brand new, it just seems a bit fussy with, bra with a brand new or a very, very new canister. Just that first, that first usage. Anyway, Chris isn't quite ready yet. So we're, we're, we're we are making some progress. So I'm gonna put the sleeping bag away and to be honest most of my most of my other stuff is already put away well some of it really don't have a huge amount really I mean I've, it looks a lot better but it really isn't so that's the camera stuff so that goes on the outside their gloves and keep them near the top. Right, that's a stuff sack for the the tent. I've eaten all my food apart from I think one or two energy bars which I've put in the pack. Oh and I've and two soups. I've got two soups left. That was that's the only other thing that I've got left is two soups. Tony two soups. Normally I have two soup every night, but I didn't have two soup. <laughs> Tony, <Totally> two soup. <laughs> I had two porridge this morning. I said, <laughs> we didn't have Tony, two soup last night. <laughs> I'm still laughing at um, Lee's tickle tackle here. <laughs> so. So ridiculously funny, Tony's tickle tackle. <laughs> I think the level of the, um, I think as the whole the whole world is going so PC these days, that's probably another reason why only a, a few select mad people follow. I think this channel. <laughs> that, that was funny though, tickle tackle. <laughs> <laughs> that, did give me, that did give me a bit of a chuckle last night. <laughs> oh my god, I'm this is the level of the viewers we get last see. <laughs> Tickle tackle. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I tell you, it doesn't take much to make me laugh. But that, but that, you know, that, that, that was good. <laughs> that really was ridiculously, stupidly funny. <laughs> Tickle tackle. <laughs> oh, God. We're not going to need the map to go back to the car because we are we are quite close to the car. Because, like I said, we we had to. We ended up having to come back through through the forest. Well, I mean, really forest as such, but we ended up It's not going to rain. The forecast is for sunny intervals today. So that's uh, that's nice. I must admit from a rain point of view, we have been pretty lucky. <laughs> I've come to Scotland twice in the winter <laughs> and we still haven't needed to use the bloody crampons yet. There's two soups left. <laughs> And I bought the two spoons, and we didn't lose the spoons. Just made this slightly <laughs> so you could get, so you could get that in with a with a canister. It just doesn't quite. <laughs> 
and you could leave it in the slightly off slightly on position but then if you do what I did last time and then you leave it on or once and then you end up leaving it on <laughs> putting the string in I put my cord in but the gas canisters I will carry separate so that one that effectively did four nights um, out here because obviously I used it last time and it was brand new and then it did get to the end of this trip I only needed this one for this cup of tea so that's not too bad all right so I've got to get those so there is some bulky stuff there really because all of that then has to go in the pack and I've still got to get the mat in so I better try and squish things down a little bit because I usually find that I end up when I go home with a pack as big as when I left even though I've eaten some food but then we've only been out two days so there's only two days of food you know that I've eaten so not a huge amount okay I think I'm going to start to extricate myself mm -hmm. 